checking my channel up in here hi everyone welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video so today i'm going to be reviewing something really exciting and this is the colors new powder now if you guys don't know what colors i don't know which rock you're living under but like you know get with the program okay okay so today i'm going to be reviewing the natural powder and there is a translucent powder and a banana powder if you guys are interested in those powders comment down below and i'll review those powders as well but the natural one is also waterproof which is really interesting and um y'all know your girl has expression lines and smile lines and all that jazz so if it works really well on my expression lines you know it's good so yeah without any further ado let's just hop into the demo but first let me talk to you guys about the packaging so firstly this is what the packaging looks like it's also cruelty free so it's not tested on animals at all which is nice because you know we want to keep the bunny safe you know um so this is what the front looks like and it kind of has like a lock packaging so it literally locks into place if you chuck this in your handbag it's not going to like make a mess so this is what it looks like it comes with a powder puff as well and ideally it works best with the powder puff and then it comes with a seal and yeah it's a pretty good packaging and you're getting 20 grams of product for 270 rand so that's really really not bad at all and I wonder if you guys can see I didn't spray any setting spray today I'm not gonna spray any setting spray throughout the day just so we can see what this powder wears like by itself but so far it's looking pretty good and my skin looks pretty bomb even though under this foundation it's really not that great but yeah without any further ado let's just hop into the demo okay so i let this foundation bake on my skin for about i want to say 10 minutes while i was doing my eye makeup and just using a fluffy powder brush it's a very very nice powder it doesn't leave any sort of cast which is really really nice look at that though it looks pretty good we're just gonna mind my breakout situation you know So I'm just going to go ahead and bronze my skin with this Febble palette using the shade right here. And it sets the foundation pretty good. I'm actually using Derma Color today if you guys were wondering. So yeah, this is what the foundation looks like with just a little bit of bronzer. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead off of camera, put on some highlight and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. That was the demo. And as you guys can see, my skin looks pretty smooth, but so you guys can see how this wears. I'm going to be doing a check-in throughout the day, and the time right now is 9.36. Don't know if you guys can see that. There we go, 9.37, and I'm actually using my phone for audio because it's very crazy the sound is very crazy up in here so yeah i'm gonna be doing a check-in throughout the day so you guys can see how this wears and you guys can see how it wears along my smile lines i smile and laugh a lot so literally everything up in here creases all the time so yeah i will see you guys in a few hours hi everyone so the time right now is currently 121 so i've had this makeup on for like about five hours now and you guys can see it looks pretty good it looks like my skin probably gonna touch up a little bit later because i didn't bake too heavily today but you guys know my skin is frying pan oil and it's my skin looks pretty good so far i have highlighter on so yeah but generally it's looking good nothing is creasing yet that's how my face looks like so far at the like five hour mark so i will catch you guys in the next couple of hours what was my hand doing there <laughs> hey guys so i am back in the time right now is five minutes past three and i am a little bit shiny like slightly it's not even like that bad but i'm just gonna touch up because this is generally the time that i do touch up throughout the day 
using the same powder. Ooh, I look crazy. I'm just gonna pat it on my skin and then just dust off any excess powder. And it literally like instantly mattifies my skin again, which is really, really nice. Like I said, I didn't put any setting spray over, so yeah. See you guys later. So you guys, it is currently 4.43. I've had this makeup on for about, I want to say at least 8 hours now because I applied this makeup at least at like half past 8. 8.45 this morning um, and yeah it's looking pretty good I only had to touch up once you guys and yeah I really enjoyed baking with it my skin does not look cakey at all it looks really really decent can you guys see it looks so good oh my god so yeah pros and cons really quickly pros is that okay so I had to pause this video to just clarify something really quickly I didn't realize that this lighting was probably not the best <laughs> and it kind of exaggerated my smile lines in the slightest bit because it definitely did not look like this in person but I just wanted to cl clarify and let you guys know that this is the only powder I have ever used that causes the least amount of creasing in my smile lines and it has definitely become my everyday baking powder. It doesn't make your concealer crease as well. It sets everything into place. It's really, really mattifying for all you oily girls out there. Like, I stayed matte for at least... At least five hours. So, yeah, that's really, really good in my books. And that is it for this video. Any cons? I don't think there's any cons to this powder, to be honest. So, that's it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to slay all day, every day with our makeup. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!